Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to be unboxing the Sheng Shao Mega Minx as well as a couple of other puzzles I'm led to believe. Um, this comes from 51morefun.com, as you know I got my Sheng Shao 9x9 from there. Alright, so, wow that's packed up really nice. Okay, so, let's open this up. So, from what I've seen, this is basically a copy of the... Um, Diane Mega Minx, but who knows? Maybe it's not exactly. I've, I've got one. I don't have one to compare it to because I gave it away in a competition, but we'll see. Here's some bubble wrap. That'll be good for me setting out cubes in the future. Okay, so I've got multiple cubes in here. Ugh, come on. Wow, okay, so I got two of them. And then I got two other puzzles. Empty box. Alright, I believe these are the new Sheng Sha 3x3 called The Wind, and I will be looking at these in another video. Okay, so let's take a look at these ones. I should have a black and a white one here. I like how it says uh, skill level, four stars. <laughs> I don't know about that, but... Alright, let us zoom up. Alright, so here are the Mega Minxes. I should have one in black and one in white, so let's take a look. Here we have the black one, and here should be the white one. So what happened is, uh, 51 More Fun doesn't have PayPal, and I asked him, well, how do I pay you? And he's like, well, you know what, don't worry about it. Your, uh, your videos help me, so I'm just going to send you some stuff. So that's what he did. Alright. Oh, okay, you guys want to see the box probably too, so here we have some writing, I guess that's either Cantonese or Mandarin or something. Um, get some fun on the front by poking these holes out. And that's it. Other than that, I can't read it, so let's go ahead. Oh, there's a pamphlet inside. Let's see what the pamphlet says. Well, it shows you how to solve it. All the steps. Hmm. Look at all these diagrams. Crazy. And on the back is, oh, I see. It's all from step one all the way to the algorithms. Cool. All right, let us take a look at this. It's really smooth, but you know, you guys can hear that, the spring noise. But wow, yeah, that's really nice. That's, uh, that's almost smoother than the Diane one, to be honest. It doesn't catch. Like the Dian one, if anyone has a Dian Mega Minx, you'll know that it's sort of, it's got some catchy to it when you, you know, you got to tension it and, and adjust it. This one is, is really nice. I got some serious lubrication on here. I'm just going to wipe it off. All right, I hope that's better. Let me get the white one too. Okay. So yeah, like I was saying, it's very, very smooth. I think it needs to be tensioned a bit. It's very tight. But it does cut corners. You gotta force it a bit, but that's because of the tensions. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not much of a Mega Minx guy, but I've had some Mega Minxes. Um, I gotta say, this one's really smooth. As far as does it compare to a Diane, I don't have my Diane one anymore because I gave it away in a competition, like I said. But let's uh, see if I can take this apart. All right, so now we've got some pieces out. Oh, I popped a. I guess it'd be a cap. Let's go ahead and continue taking these pieces out. Ah, I actually had to unscrew it a bit because it was so tight. So yeah, here you can see, I guess I should have done this with a white cube, but you can see that it uh, it's got a cap and this cap fits on just like that. So that's, that's awesome that they capped it. So let's take a look at an edge piece. All right, so yeah, you can really see that this uh, looks like a Diane, that's for sure. I know uh, as soon as I posted some pictures of this, a lot of people were like, you know, great, another puzzle that's going to need the Florian mod. Um, who knows? I don't think that it will, though. I mean, I'm not really a speed cuber when it comes to, um, you know, Mega Minx or anything like that. If anything, I would transform this into, you know, a, a ball or a, or, or a giveaway or something. But, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's, I mean, come on. <laughs> Sheng Shao is notoriously known for taking other people's products and uh, replicating it, especially V cubes. Um, I, I didn't think they would do it to Diane though, but I do see some small differences between the, the, the products, so 
you know, they do change things up a little bit. So let's put this back together. All right, so I finally got this thing back together. I gotta tell you, I don't think this thing is gonna pop at all. It was very difficult to uh, take apart and almost just as difficult to put back together, to be honest. Um, I did tension this side. It is really, really nice. Um, it's a lot nicer now, but again, we've got that spring noise, which is easily taken care of if you uh, check out my um, Diane Megaminx, uh, you know, tension and lubing tutorial. All right, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and scramble this thing now. Um, you know, it was uh, a long time ago that I got introduced to Megaminx, actually, and I've had a few of them in the past. I think I had a, a QJ, I think it was a QJ, I'm not sure. I definitely had an MF8 tiled one, and I know the new one of those just came out as well. Um, wow, this thing just wants to move so easily. Especially the, uh, the green side, where right here, that I already did. Wow, that's just like, really, really nice. You know, I've also tried to learn how to um, read, <laughs> read notation for the Megaminx. It's a little difficult, actually. Either that or I just didn't get it, because <laughs> I'm a total noob at Megaminx. I'm not sure. It's probably very easy. I didn't put too much time into it, though, to be honest. So that is what it looks like. Um, scramble. Now you can see the contrast of the colors. I think the colors look really nice. It's a pretty nice looking puzzle. So let's go ahead and scramble this. So I'm just going to fast forward this, though. All right, so I'm calling that scrambled. So now you can see the contrast of the colors on the white one as well. It's also very nice. So those are the two puzzles. You know what? I'm going to go and solve them and then come back and uh, give you some more thoughts on them. All right, I'm back. And I got to say that this uh, puzzle is actually really nice to solve. I didn't uh, adjust it or anything anymore, but nothing catches, nothing pops. Um, it's very, very smooth. I, I still had to wipe a little bit more lube around off the, the puzzle though because it was uh, it was extremely lubey and the more I played with it the more it got on my hands because of turning and touching these pieces and then rubbing it on the outside. Um, but it's still, you know, a little bit lubey. If anything, if I was a serious Mega Mink solver I would definitely take this apart again and, uh, and you know, lube up the core and all that kind of stuff. And I also solved the white one as well. The white one is very, very nice as well. I'm not much of a white puzzle guy, but... Um, it is very, very enjoyable to solve, that's for sure. And, you know, I know that a lot of you guys are thinking right now, you know, what's the difference between, you know, this and the Diane ones if it's so close? Well, I gotta tell you, it's the price. I mean, um, these are cheaper. And that's usually what Shang Shao does, is they put out a product that is just as good or better than something else and at a, a much cheaper rate. Now, I'm not one to really, uh, you know, use Diane knockoffs, but... I don't, you know, maybe they have something going on, you know, between them or something like that because they're both, um, you know, Chinese companies and stuff. So who knows? Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to leave a link in the description to this. It's definitely cheaper than the Diane Mega Mix. If you don't care about these ridges, um, that's fine. Uh, you know, it doesn't corner, reverse corner cut at all, but neither really did the, um, the Diane one. I mean, it had those little holes, but it didn't really reverse corner cut very much. So and I've never really noticed a speed cuber reverse corner cutting on a Mega Minx anyways, like we do on a 3x3. Uh, anyways, guys, so that is my review. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get them. Thanks again, Champion, for sending them to me, and I'll see you on my next video.